Good morning from Pleasurewood Hills here in Lowestoft where we're starting our little trip over here onto the east coast of England. Oh, it's a lovely sunny day today so we're going to go around the park and get loads of POVs for you and also watch the circus which we absolutely loved last year. It was a great circus wasn't it, it was last great. year? So yeah they've brought it back for this year. I believe it's got an 80s theme because the park opened in the 80s so we'll check that out. Of course you've got lots of fantastic rides here, nice family park and it's a lovely summer's day for it so come and join us as we experience everything that Pleasurewood Hills has to offer. We We'd also just like to say a huge thank you to the park for having us today and providing us with our mission. Should we go and get inside? Let's go. Let's do this. And we're inside the park then now. Hours today are 10 a.m. through until 5. Yeah, there's four roller coasters here, lots of different flat rides, you've got a couple of train rides, water rides, a dark ride and so much more. And yeah, the park is actually celebrating 40 years of operation this year as well, which is fantastic. Yeah, had some brilliant visits over the years here to Pleasurewood Hills. And as always, we're going to start off with a ride on Cannonball Express. It is a lower throughput ride, so I definitely recommend heading there first. Oh, it's always the best place to start the day, Cannonball Express just over here. And yeah, making our way into the queue line. It does only run one train this, that's why I always say you're best coming down here first. Schwarzkopf Jetstar that opened here in 1995. I and mean, it's a great ride this, it's got some good force to it as well. So yeah, we're going to start off on here and of course we can film on ride POVs here as well. So yeah, going to get loads of on ride footage for you today. Here at Pleasurewood, let's go and ride Cannibal Express. Hey! And we're off, front row. Second train of the day. Timed it well there, getting a front as well. Yeah, great structure. Fun fact for you, this used to operate at Plotsaland de Pan back in the day. Right, there you go. That's the thing, lots of like relocated rides, crop up in places where you wouldn't expect them. Charlie Roger just over there, top tower. There we go. <laughs> Are you ready, Charlotte? It goes so low to the ground. It does. Like, it's very whippy, this is. Whee! Woo! Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's the lower sections that get really intense. It starts off not quite tame. Woo! Good old Schwarzkopf. Woo! Your head gets so close to other parts of the track as well. Support. <laughs> Woo! Hey! Oh wow! Woo! Oh! Oh! It's a good ride, that is. I do like it. Oh! I say, a great way to start the day. Oh, cannonball just here. Fantastic. Very unique ride. Fantastic way to start the day there. Really aggressive ride, and that's what I enjoy. It's quite smooth though, but it's these lower sections that really are fantastic. Yeah, the only one of its kind left. Did you enjoy that? Oh, it's a great fun ride, that is. The low down section is crazy, it's so intense. It is, it's very forceful. I do really like it. Would be better, of course, if it was running more trains. But yeah, definitely head down here first if you are coming to the park. Up next, though, you can see it just off to the side. Jolly Roger, which is the drop tower. Going to head on there now. You get a fantastic view. And it's actually one of the most forceful drop towers in the UK, in my opinion. So yeah, let's go and give that a go. And we'll take you on for a ride. There's Charlotte, hey, just me on this one. Yeah, you've just seen some off-ride footage of Jolly Roger in action there too. And yeah, lovely views. It's my favorite side to be on just here actually, because you get a great view of the park, but also looking out towards the ocean as well, which is really nice. Look at that, beautiful location. Yeah, if you are coming here, free parking as well. Sea Lion Show just over there, Marble Madness over in the distance, Water Fun Factory, we'll probably get on that next. And look out. To the left hand side you can see Wipeout just over there too. The way swinger down there at the bottom and then Great Yarmouth over in the distance. As we just wait here now to drop, it's very forceful. Might not look like much from off ride, but blimey. Here we go. Whee! Oh, fantastic. <laughs> oh, brilliant ride. 
The views are so good from the top as well, and that's what really adds to it. Looking out to the ocean, especially if you're on this side, it's really nice. And yeah, it's very forceful because it doesn't just drop you down, it pushes you down as well. I um, mean, you get some excellent forces on there. Generally, one of the best drop towers in the UK, in my opinion. I know we've not got loads to compare it to. I'd say Venom at Westman Safari Park and Detonator at Thorpe Park are probably the two most forceful. Uh, but this one's great because of the views. You didn't fancy it, Charlotte? I really don't like the really forceful drop towers. <laughs> <laughs> what about heading over to Water Fun Factory now? We got soaked on this last time. Let's go and give it a go. And there it is, the park's log flume. Looks like they've actually painted up the boats for this year as well, which is nice to see. Yeah, it got refurbished a few years ago. Yeah, the boats were still the old colours. Yeah, we'll go and have a look at that. Lots of nice shrubbery and landscaping around here. You know, if you are coming, it's definitely best doing this. I know it's so tempting to go straight to wipe out with it being the big Vekoma boomerang, but you are better going to it later. And it's a good job we wanted to do it later today because it is closed at the moment this morning. Um, yeah, it will be open a little bit later on though, which is good. Yeah, it looks like they're still doing the uh, checks on there this morning. Let's go and get on this. I feel like with it being a nice hot day, it's going to get a big queue later. It's already on in maybe 10, 15 minutes. So yeah, let's go and give this a go. Water Fun Factory, Log Flume, here at Pleasurewood Hills. Wait about 10 minutes just there. And yeah, the boats have had a lot more detail than on. You probably saw it in that off-ride shot just. Yeah, some of them have got like spots on that have been stitched together. Other ones are like patchwork. But yeah, it looks really good. I like what they've done with that. Be nice to see a few more props and things around here in the long term. We've got the little uh, bird box just over there though. To make our way up into the fun factory itself. Just here, nice and fun for you, Charlotte. It's never good fun when we're both on the front door. <laughs> Yeah, we've both got to sit in the front yeah, on this so one. <laughs> hey, you can kind of see with the boat, just uh, what they've done. Yeah, it looks better. Whoa! Ah. Hey, we go. Ah. <laughs> Sorry for squashy, Charlotte. This is it. Whoa! Ah. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, look at it! It's come right over that us. What a soaking! What a soaking! Has it got you, Charlotte? Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, that was close. That Did was it get you? <laughs> oh god, I just saw a cascade of water coming towards us. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> On the main left till now. <laughs> nice view off to the right hand side of the park. Wipe out over there. Moby Dick. And at the bottom of the side, Moby Dick's had a bit of a paint up for this year, which is good. Here it comes, the big one. <laughs> what a great view, Marble Madness over there. And here we go! Woo! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! What a wave! Oh, that's just pretty wet there. Pretty wet, luckily, it's a nice hot day. That was fantastic, that was. Good little flume, that. Really enjoyable. Are you right in the back, Charlotte? Not too. I say in the back, more just behind me here. The there we go, literally your legs just down inside it. Oh, you got wet knees. Somebody turn that tap off. <laughs> and here's Charlotte after a soak in there. It's more my legs that are soaked. <laughs> my hair's slightly wet as well. Is it just me viewers or do you think Charlotte's coming more round to these water rides? I'm coming round to her. I just don't like when you get that massive wave of water coming over. I think she's starting to like them a bit more, you know. I like, we're not getting this big kind of dramatic when you come off like oh, was disgusting like, yeah. I know why she's happy because she knows she's going on a favourite water ride ever in a couple no, of weeks No, no, not Popeye At Universal no, Islands of Adventure Not Popeye, I bought a massive new big raincoat to protect me Hey, well, you know what, we've got Florida coming up next oh, week I'm so excited, I can't wait We are pumping for Florida, it's going to be awesome Loads of vlogs coming up from our three week trip It's our biggest ever trip to Florida And of course we're doing a cruise as well So we're really excited, Universal Walt Disney World and so much more. We're going on uh, Marble Madness now as we time to uh, keep on rolling just here and make the most of it. Lovely day. We're going to dry off in like five minutes, yeah, Charlotte. Yeah, we're drying off already. Yeah, it's a lo good. lovely day for it today. Always like our summer trip down here. Let's go and ride Marble Madness. And we're off, we 
waited about 15 minutes there for Marble Madness. Yeah, three trains in service. Oh, and up we go. Yeah, it's a good ride this. It does break a bit too much, but you know what? Nice family coaster. Of course, this one used to be at Flamingo Land in Yorkshire where Hero stands now. Oh, truth the sun to go in, now I'm soaked. Yeah. <laughs> <Whey! Hey. laughs> Oh, to you. Sea lions down there. Oh. I'll do a good sea lion. Oh, dear, go on. <laughs> what a great impression that. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Down we go. Oh. Oh, it's busy. At the it is busy. Worth getting on that early. Follow this order if you come in. Oh. Hey. Is this one sharp? I can't remember. One of them is. That's the one, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, your belly proper whacked into the light bar there. Oh. <laughs> Big drop now. Woo! Is it this one as well? Oh! oh. <laughs> I oh. trimmed so much. Oh. Great. Holy trims. Hey! Ah. Woo! Oh no, there's one coming up. Manufactured by Mara. Yeah. I think we're all right here. There oh. we go. The break, big brakes. Oh god, here we go. Oh, that was, oh, that was all right. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Marble madness just there. Breaking madness. That's what I'm going to call it. No, <laughs> oh, it's always a good fun ride. That, yeah, even though it does break way too heavy. There's the train coming round. We'll have a go on there. How was it? <laughs> you all right there. They were so sharp. <laughs> You expect the ones at the end to be really sharp, but they're not as bad as that one in the middle. Oh, crazy. Oh, gosh, it's a good fun ride. Though, it's getting right? busy it's now. Busy. Look at this. Like, this always happens. We always it get does. a good way going round. Get here for opening and go in that direction. Like, that's the best thing to do. And yeah, of course, we've got the Summer Circus Spectacular that we're going to be watching. Yeah, it's on a couple of times a day, running throughout the summer. And this was fantastic last year. Um, so yeah, we're going to be watching that and believe we're going to be able to film it too. So we'll bring you some highlights later on in the vlog. Fancy a dark ride up next. Of course, we've still got a couple of other coasters to ride. Wipeout, the Vekoma Boomerang, and also Express, the Zero Tivoli, just down there in the bottom left of the park. Yeah, they've painted up a lot of these facades for this year, which is good to see. Yeah, I remember us saying last time, some areas really could do with some TLC, and I'd love to see some more investment come to this park. Of course, it is owned by the Looping Group, but also own Drayton Manor and West Midland Safari Park in the UK, and also a lot of parks abroad. And yeah, Looping Group have been investing really heavy in Drayton Manor and also West Mids. I feel a bit sorry for them here at Pleasure World because they do another big investment, really. I think it is a shame. They really need some investment, not just going into the other two parks. They need to bring some here as well. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, you know, they've got the money, Looping Group. Let's see some spent here at Pleasure I'd love to see a new roller coaster here. I think that would be a great addition. Um, yeah, there is a dark ride. It's called Rooting Toot in Target Trail. Comment down below if you did this one. It was Hobbs Pit. Used to be a scare experience um, with the dark ride transit system itself still in there. But so uh, yeah, we're going to give this a go. Now it's an interactive shooter. Oh, it's a slow move of this one. We've been waiting about 30 minutes and we're here now in the station, which is themed to this cave. Of course, discovered by the mine workers. Let's go and ride. And we're off. Got my gun just there. So with this one, it's a mystery. You don't know your score until you look on the screen at the end. In a way, that makes it even more competitive because you don't know what your score is. From there, working down the mines. <laughs> Do you like the little statues? Watch out for the bat. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> I like him down there. It's very basic little animatronics. I'm Rye Fridges there from Ruin 2 in Target Trail and yeah you see your scores down here at the end but you need to remember your car number and I can't remember can you Charlotte? I remember it was number one because I was sat behind you. Oh uh, maybe, oh that means you've won then. Wow what a oh. score. It's not a bad little family dog ride that there, I do miss Hobbs Pit but of course it didn't really fit with the more family feel of this park. Yeah, it was a funny investment back then, so I think converting it into an interactive dark ride was probably the right decision for the park. But yeah, it's quite nice, some good props in there, some little animatronics. Got the dual deck carousel over there too, nice classic. Remember when there used to be one of those Alton Towers? Like a good double deck carousel. It was good fun, wasn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. we've got the little train just over here now. Oh, shut for maintenance. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, I like the Woodland Express. I wonder if it'll be open later. It's close for maintenance. Oh, it does. Oh, that's a shame if so. Nice the little train over here, isn't it? Oh, that's a shame. I'll have to come back later on and see, but yeah, it does say shut for maintenance. I've seen the other train in action. In fact, we got it in earlier on, but yeah, this one's shut. Oh, it's nice, this one. Yeah, it's a tiny little train. Yeah, you go around and kind of sit single file on it. Now, of course, these past few years have been making a lot of improvements to the overall look of the park, and yeah, re-theming various different attractions. The same happened with Express and Water Fun Factory, and they've done the same just over here now, which is good. So yeah, this is now called Giddy Up, and uh, yeah, as you can see, they've added some new bits of theming around. Which is good to see on the little pony track ride. Yeah, you got this uh, sheriff down here in the bath. Is he a sheriff or is he just a cowboy? Could just be a cowboy. <laughs> just down there. There's a few other props just over here as well, which is nice. There's a chuck wagon over there. And also a little saloon that we can see down there too. So yeah, just like little improvements that they're making. Because this had no theming at all before, if you remember. It was pretty bland. So all these cows around here, they're brand new. And yeah, you got the little Wild West buildings over there. It's only very basic, but still, it's better than it was. There you go. So yeah, you can see the saloon and also the bank just over there as well. So yeah, it's quite nice, isn't it? Better than it was before. You know, it was very bland. It was literally just grass really around here before. And yeah, it's not just this ride that's had a refresh for this year. If we turn around here to the left, the safari this ride year. has had it. Yeah, remember last year we went on this. So yeah, we said oh, it was in quite a, a state last year, so yeah, I'm glad they've done the work. So we're going to give this a ride. <laughs> Wait about five minutes just there and we're on safari here. See, so yeah, as you can see, they've painted up all of the cars which are looking better. So they've added some new props around. It was looking really overgrown before, so they definitely cut back the shrubbery a little bit. What the AC on for us, Charlotte? I haven't got any, unfortunately. Oh, it's really hot in here. What about the radio? Put that on. No radio either. No radio. What about a horn? Not got a horn. No. Oh. I haven't got anything apart from a steering wheel, unfortunately. Where are you taking us today? Oh? Just having a safari tour. Who, who was that that we just passed? I think it was a water buffalo. Was it? <laughs> some, some sort of buffalo. Do not feed the wild animals. Yeah, so they've added some more props around here yeah on the pony track though they did a good job with that looks like there was maybe more new props on that than on this but at least they've painted up the station area and the vehicles it's definitely looking better than it was before oh no that one's stuck in the quick sun just over there animals are looking good rhinoceros we have, a rhin we have two of our native rhinos there they are they're nice <laughs> coming up on the maybe have some lions there. oh well they're quite good Cubs. Oh. Also coming up on the left, we've got an alligator. Fantastic. Coming up on the right, hippopotamus. Hippo. And a baby hippo. Oh, baby hippos. On the left, we've got some elephants, and some baby <laughs> elephants. I'm enjoying Charlotte's safari tour. We've got a large giraffe behind the trees <laughs> on the left-hand side. Oh yeah, they're new, I think, aren't they? The giraffes. Also on the left-hand side, we've got some warthogs. Nice warthogs. When I was a young warthog. warthog. <laughs> Getting you in the mood for Disney next week. Crocodile on the right. What's the difference between a crocodile and an alligator though, Charlotte? Is it the size difference, I think? I don't know. <laughs> Here we go, we're going past the rhinos again. Oh, these are nice. Rhinoceros. Did you know that 
know that their skin is five centimetres thick. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Where do you get that fact from? I just learnt it. All oh, right. And they can feel flies landing on the skin. These two rides are looking loads better than they were before though, which is good to see. More TLC. As much as a new ride is definitely needed here, at least they're making some of the older ones look better. And hopefully in advance of a brand new ride coming in. Got an ostrich on the left. And the giraffes, they're nice statues, they are. And on the right we've got a snake. Lovely, thanks for the tour. Enjoyed that. Yeah, some bits were here before and some other bits are new, I think. I quite enjoyed that nice little family car ride. And yeah, I'm very impressed with a lot of the paint ups that they've done here for this year. Woody's Emporium looking good down there as well. The bird show over here, Birds of Paradise, all painted up and looking really colourful and fresh. It looks like they've even done a bit of the side of Wipeout just over here as well, which is good. So yeah, just bits of general TLC, which look fantastic. And yeah, Wipeout's open now. Like I say, it was a bit of a delayed opening on this earlier on. So yeah, going to jump on that now. And of course, it'll be time for the circus. Yeah, this is the park's Bacoma Boomerang, of course, used to operate as the missile, American Adventure. Yeah, this is the exact one that used to be there in Derbyshire. Used to love American Adventure. And yeah, this, of course, used to sit right next to the lake just over there. So yeah, let's go and jump on this. It's a very intense ride. And yeah, it's the only Bacoma Boomerang left here in the UK now. Yeah, quite a unique experience here for us in England. Let's go and ride wipe out. Well, I've only waited about 10 minutes there. Not too bad at all for a major ride in the summer holidays. That's the thing with this being quite an intense thrill ride. Doesn't really get that big of a queue. Does it make our way up here? Are you excited, Charlotte? I'm not that excited. I won it last time, I don't think. No, you're not a big fan of these, are you? After the USA road trip, you're used to these, though. We did quite I know, a few. I've done but yeah, we thought. To ride them. Yeah, keep your head forward and hold on to the smoothest ride. Yeah, we thought with this time we'll uh, come a little bit further back. Normally go down there at the front, but it's actually a little bit better further back, a bit more intense, a bit faster. You feel the speed a bit more, and of course that awesome G-Force that you get on this ride. But yeah, I remember riding this at American Adventure, looking out over the lake as we get ready to make our way down the drop. That's the thing with this, you just kind of straight into it as soon as we get up here. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, mini train is testing, so hopefully we'll get on that this afternoon. We've got the circus coming up next though. Here uh, we go, pretty much straight into it as we get ready. Yeah, he's straight into it, about now. Ooh! Woo! Oh! Oh! That's why you get the jeans. Woo! Oh, wow. Woo! Oh! And that's what gets you down there at the end, coming in. Fat into them brakes. Oh, there you go, that's Wipeout, Pleasurewood Hills. Woo, what a ride. I've been wiped out. <laughs> wiped out. <laughs> you all right there, Charlotte? I really don't like that. It's so <laughs> intense, like I can feel a headache coming on. Oh, you got to know how to ride it, that's the thing. You want to keep your head forward and I hold on. I tried that, it just didn't work. I still end up whacked my head. <laughs> <laughs> I do really like it, yeah. I do like how we've still got one of those here in the UK. Used to have a few Vekoma boomerangs around, actually. And yeah, it's the only one left. So yeah, it's nice to make the most of it. I know they're cloned a lot, especially abroad, but really for the UK, it's quite unique and it's still a crowd pleaser. And the G-force that you get on there is fantastic. It's just so intense. I have my one ride and I won't do it again. <laughs> you got to think it's like six inversions as well. Three forwards and three backwards. It's quite a lot. Fantastic. But uh, anyway, we're going to make our way around now to go and see the circus. And the circus is also included in our mission here at Pleasurewood Hills, which is great. It's not an upcharge. And yeah, like I say, it's actually an 80s themed show for this year uh, because, of course, it's 40 years of Pleasurewood Hills. So highlights coming up over the next few minutes from Circus Hassani. Let's go and watch it. It's the show you've all been waiting for. Everybody make some noise for Circus Hassani.
Highlights there from the absolutely awesome Circus Hassani. It's a 30 minute show, including the ticket price. I think it's fantastic. I really enjoyed that. What a fantastic family show. The acts in there was really good. Just getting everybody going, it was brilliant. Yeah, lots packed into 30 minutes. And that's the thing, you've got the clown kind of in the middle as well. He's great, uh, getting people involved. I like how we had the little teddy bear and the oh, seesaw. that was so funny. <laughs> everybody was absolutely loving that with the big net. It was so funny. Yeah, some fantastic acts. I love the big kind of slinky that there was oh, going around. That was awesome. nostalgia. I used to love having my slinky. Yeah. Yeah, I liked how it was all 80s themed. Of course, some aerial acrobats in there as well, kind of jumping over the skipping rope and all the acrobats. It was a really good show. If you're coming down here to the park, it's well worth watching. And the production quality is great as well. All the music, you've got live vocalists in there as well. It's not just a backing track, so I do like how they're singing. And yeah, just the lighting, the smoke, the overall performance is brilliant. It's a really high quality show, and it really makes coming here in the summer. Of course, they had it last year as well, and this year's show was just as good. Um, all the different acts in there, all the music, we loved it. I think it's great that they can put that on every summer. Yeah, definitely. Really nice to see. And up next, we're going on Express just here, the little Zero Tivoli coaster. I do really like this. Some fantastic theming, as we can see here from the Barnyard Star Station. And here you've got the little chicken on the front as well. <laughs> there he is, chicken in the air. Let's go and ride on the Express. Here we go, and we waited one cycle, about five minutes there, and we're off on the back row. Best place to be on these Zero Tivoli's Express. We like the little chicken. <laughs> Right footage there from Express. You only get one lap round on there though now, oh, don't you? It's a good fun coaster that is, and there wasn't a big queue, so you could just go around again if you needed to. Maybe that's why they do it though, to try and help on the busier days, and um, capacity, get more people on there. Yeah, because the queue could end up being quite long if you're getting two laps every time. Definitely, but uh, yeah, we're in a little light snack, aren't we now? Yeah, so we've got some fries. I just want to share with you this mayonnaise, this stoked mayonnaise. It is the best mayonnaise I've ever had. Better than Heinz, better than Hellman's. I need to see if I can get this by a bottle. That's a big claim because you love mayonnaise. Oh, it, it is amazing. And the lady at the counter was like, oh, it's the best mayonnaise. I said, it totally is. It's so good. Yeah, it must not be a local thing either because you can get it at Drayton Manor, can't you, as yeah, well? Yeah, you can get it at the Westman Safari Park as well. Oh, it's so good. All across the looping parks. But there you go. Having a nice day here so at Pleasurewood good. Hills. Just sat here on the grass. Actually feels like summer now, which is good. Sitting here, have some chips, and then we'll keep on riding this afternoon. <laughs> Oh, they were really nice. I enjoyed that. And yeah, you got the little balloon ride just down here. And also the bumper car garage. Yeah, small little bumper cars attraction just over there. I tell you what, it's busy today though. It's good to see. It's the busiest I've seen it in years. It is really busy, but it's nice to see that people are coming in the nice summer weather. Yeah, definitely. And hopefully that means we can see some investment in a brand new ride. I feel like it really does need the investment now. It's yeah. much needed. I mean, they've gone around and refurbished quite a lot of the park now. Yeah, so. keeping stuff fresh and paint and stuff, but I think they really need a new ride now. Yeah, definitely. And you enjoyed your mayonnaise there. Oh, that mayonnaise. Well, I'm trying to get on the website to see if you can buy it by the bottle or the box because it's <laughs> The best mayonnaise, I love it. <laughs> Brilliant. So, yeah, we're going to make our way up now to do some more of the other rides. We think the mini train might be on now, and also you've got the main train. So, we're going to head up that way and have a look. Oh, I love that smell of freshly cut grass. Yeah, sit on mower just down here. I'd love a ride on one of those. All the theme park rides we go on, yeah, I'd love a ride on a set on Moa. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, you've got the chairlift just over here. Unfortunately, it is closed today. We did know, though, because it is clearly advertised on the website uh, that it's down at the moment. Looks like there's been a bit of repainted on the turnaround section there. So yeah, hopefully it'll be back operating again soon. Always looks nice over the water. I'm going to get run over by this mower if I don't move. He's coming. Ah! And of course, it's not just Circus Hassani that you've got running here over summer. You've also got Birds of Paradise and Sea Lion Splash as well, uh, which is fantastic. Yeah, three different shows to watch here at Pleasurewood over summer. And uh, yeah, of course, you've got the pictures there, and then two rethemed rides for this year. Oh, there we go. The little train's on now, Charlotte. Yeah, let's go and do 
yeah, we'll give that a go. And then of course you've got the main one as well. And I'd still love to see something done with this big castle at some point in the future. Of course, it is set up as a theatre. I mean, there's no shows running in there at the moment. Uh, I believe they use it for special events and that sort of thing. Uh, and yeah, back in the day, that was actually built for Mr. Blobby. Um, but yeah, I'd love to see like a new ride in there, a new dark ride or something like that would be fantastic. It's a great facade. I mean, you imagine if that was all painted up, uh, maybe pink and uh, yellow, you know, have all different kind of fairy tale colours on there. Could be a really nice investment for the future, that, especially because the show building's already there. And the exterior. It's so busy today and it's really good to see the park being popular this summer. Yeah, here's a look at wave breaker that they've got just here, which is a set of two dinghy slides. Yeah, queuing all the way down the steps. I reckon that's a good half an hour or so. Yeah, really nice to see the park busy. Hey! <laughs> We're back by Giddy up just here now. I didn't know it's this guy here. Yeah? We've got a cactus. He's got a hat on as well. That's so cute. And we've got an update on the mayonnaise as well, haven't we, Charlotte? So you can buy it on the website, so I'm going to have to order some for the house. We'll have to get it in over on the Sandbrook Adventures, our second channel. We'll see you over there. Normally we show you all these kids' rides from above over on the chairlift, but as it's not open today, so we show you them from down here on ground level. There's quite a few rides for the little ones just down here, including the little lighthouse drop tower. Small little swinging ship. You've got the flying elephants over there too. Yeah, there's like a little teacups over here. So all the smaller rides. There's Bert the Seagull. I know, another, <laughs> another small spinning ride just over there. Yeah, lots of small little flats in this area for the kids, which is great. Yeah, we're gonna go and wait for the uh, mini train now. It's the mini mini train. Let's go and have a ride. Wait about five minutes there, and we're off. I like the mini train. It's really good, I do it's like these. Cute. I love it. Got some new signage for this year, and yeah, it used to be blue, I think the train, it's green now. Yeah, I thought so too. I do like this, because you go through like the forest bits. Yeah, it's good. Do you like my trains? The fact they've got two here is fantastic. This is definitely the most unique of the two. It moves so fast. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I love one of these around the garden. It's so cute. The ride would be over in about 10 seconds though, if it was in my garden. Small little plane ride over there. Nice breeze on here, it's really warm today. There's the wave swinger. Yeah, it's just got one station, this one, so you queue up there. It's not really a transport ride. It takes a very nice scenic view around the park. Whereas the other train is actually transport around. That loud sirens. <laughs> nice, isn't it? It's just chilling out in the sunshine. Lovely. What's really cool is down here, you actually cross over the other train track as well, which is quite interesting. Park just coming up down here, so obviously you've got the small train track that runs over the bigger one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Obviously, you've got to make sure it's tight well. But yeah, I think that's fantastic. The forest we go. I like this bit when you go through the <laughs> Into the woods. Yes, that's the back of that theatre. So yeah, it's quite a large building. You can fit a fantastic dark ride in there. Really good to see. Maybe like the story of Woody Bear or something like that. It'd be really nice. Yeah, you can see like the facade down that side. Gives you a good idea on just how big that actually is. Got a good ride system in there. Oh, <laughs> half a hippo. the journey round on here it's fast moving as well i just love this i think it's great i'd love to see like a big one of these like a really long one somewhere it still goes really fast yeah i'm sure there is one somewhere in the uk there's probably quite a few there's 
Bambi. <laughs> Yeah, you can see how the old school chairlift has been painted up green. Yeah, hopefully they'll be back up again soon. Shame it's closed today, but like I say, it was clearly advertised on the website. I'm glad they painted it up, it shows it's not going anywhere anytime soon. So that's another like classic here at the park. You don't really get many of those around. very much enjoyed our ride around there on the mini train through the woodland yeah it's fantastic and yeah we're going on the bigger train now which of course is actually transportation around the park station clarence just here so yeah let's go and give this a go there we go looking very summery there charlotte yeah nice and summer i should have had the shorts on today yeah it is really warm isn't it any. it's like 25 degrees celsius today oh, it's lovely. It feels like summer. very nice it is summer <laughs> for now <laughs> They've done a good job with Giddy up just there, haven't they? I love that little building, yeah. Saloon, the sheriff. Can't see the one on this side. Does that one say saloon as well, maybe? Not too sure. That's something else, general store. Little windmills there too. Nice that is. Coming down that track about 10 minutes ago. There's a lot to go. That wipeout. Comment down below, did you ride that here for the first time? Or American Adventure? Or maybe you've never been on it before? Let us know in the video comments. Nice view of wipe out there in action. Empty train there at the moment. Looks like it'll be back operational again soon. Pull into the station closest to the main entrance home. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. No. You there, the main entrance? Jolly Roger over there again. Looks like there's a bit more landscaping around in this area, which is good to see. Remember last year they'd done up them buildings, like the galley. That was like the Nice rocks. That's the thing, they've gone round now and refreshed most of the park. Time for something brand new, hopefully soon. Would have been great for the 40th this year. You never know, maybe next year. Or the year after. Yeah. <laughs> Moby Dick. And yeah, with these train carriages, I know they used to use them at Halloween and events, but you know, if they're not using these anymore, I'd take these out. I mean, they're looking quite tired now. Or at least they need repainting if they're staying there. Yeah, you got another station just down here by Express. Oh, 
There's the mini train track down there again. Yeah, there's a small little flat ride just there where you lie down and it spins around. Yeah, lots of great family rides here. Yeah, well, they weren't the other day when they were yeah, all the cars are fastened on there, so yeah, maybe it's just closed for a few days, but hopefully we'll be back open again soon. Oh, they got hit by a bush. <laughs> I've always thought this would be a good coaster spot just over here. Quite a nice space for something. Yeah, maybe a, like a family spinning coaster or something are going nice here. Yeah, big shout out to John, the train driver as well. Thanks for driving us around. Big fan of the channel. <laughs> Yeah, if you want to do the full tour around, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. I'm back here at Station Clarence. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you this, it is closed today. we got the woody copters just over here, of course based on Woody Bear. I'm not going to lie, they're a little bit creepy they are. Woody the Bear's not, in fact he's had a bit of a facelift for this year. Um, but yeah, as you can see, yeah, they are a bit creepy aren't they just there? <laughs> So we were just walking down this pathway and Charlotte was like, when did the other bumper cars go? And I was like, oh, I don't know, they've gone now. <laughs> yeah, I think they'll do something here. But yeah, it could do with a fence putting around it really. But uh, yeah, as you can see, you've got the train carriage. Maybe this winter, they're going to get rid of the train carriage as well. And no, I did it until we were like, walking down here and you said it. Queue line's still there, but uh, yeah, they've gone. These were not very good. The better ones are down course by Express but uh, yeah it's not the best presentation this so hopefully they can uh, do something with this soon personally I'd probably get rid of all the train carriage around here and uh, do something else well as you can see we're coming towards the end of our visit here to Pleasurewood Hills and it wouldn't be a visit to the park without going to see our friend Moby Dick just over here Moby Dick. What a great ride. yeah he's had a bit of a paint up around here which is good yeah with some of the new bits of theme in the added round here maybe we're gonna see a new ride on that spot where the old Dodgems used to be now this is looking a lot better than it did before. Sounds a bit better as well, it was quite squeaky last year if you remember. It's had a bit of TLC. Well of course we've got loads coming up over the next few days on the channel. Full week of vlogs for you. It's going to be great. Next up we're going to be heading to Britannia Pier in Great Yarmouth. They've actually got a coaster on there now. So yeah we're going to be filming its own vlog for the pier now. Got the ghost train, a few other rides, the coaster. And of course after that we'll be at Joyland in Great Yarmouth and also the Pleasure Beach before making our way down to Clacton Pier and also Adventure Island. Lots coming up this week. And here we go on Moby Dick. Irish ship over there and of course the Way Swinger. Down there too, yeah, nice variety of flats at this part. That's why I think it'd be nice to see a new coaster of some form. I'm not talking about like a massive coaster investment. A new family coaster, like I said, I think a spinner would be a really nice addition here actually. Wild theme. Still a bit squeaky. Not, not as bad. No, I thought it was really squeaky one last Very time. Squeaky. Yeah, it's a nice family park place, Wood Hills. I do like coming down here. Moby Dick. It's only a slow one, this. right there on Moby Dick. You don't say that sentence every day. <laughs> but so uh, yeah, we made our way over here now to the waves figure. You just saw some off-ride footage. This in action, and yeah, it's a nice one to go on this down here by the entrance to the park with some nice scenic views. But yeah, we've had a really nice visit. Here to Pleasurewood Hills. This will be our last ride of the day, I think, before we make our way down. It's a great Yarmouth itself. Yeah, we're gonna be checking out Britannia Pier next, like I say. New owners and a new roller coaster. Charlotte's there flying in front of me. <laughs> Looking very summery today. I'm glad the weather picked up though for the last part of the summer holidays. It wasn't very good, was it, the first few weeks? 
felt like every vlog we were doing, we were doing coats and jumpers, thinking it does not feel like summer. But no, it's nice now. I'm glad we came down here for our annual visit. A lovely ride there on the way swinger and yeah it's nice to get a breeze on there as well it's lovely and warm and yeah before we head out the park I'm just gonna have a look inside Woody's Emporium over here and see if they've got any new merch with the updated Woody Bear and here he is Woody Bear himself 25 pounds and he's got a different outfit over oh, here boy, Woody. there we go oh he's got a few different outfits as yeah. you go around oh no that's Ronnie just there there you go he's got a pirate outfit on just here yeah all 25 pounds as we can see, you can get your own sea lion there uh, if you want to as well. And I don't know who this guy's name is. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's Clarence. There you go. Yeah, he's got a station named after him. And there's Ronnie the raccoon just there. Is he a raccoon? He looks like it. Is he? No, looks like I don't a know. Beaver. Is he a beaver or is he a raccoon? I think so. Is it, I don't know. I'm not too sure. Know. Ronnie the raccoon. We'll just say he's a raccoon. Be. She has got a raccoon yeah, tail. Yeah, I think he is. Oh. You like raccoons? I love raccoons. Well, that brings us to the end of our visits here to Pleasurewood Hills in Lowestoft. It's been lovely in the sunshine today, hasn't oh, it? Oh, the sun has been absolutely lovely. I wish I'd had my shorts. I've been boiling. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I put mine on, to be honest. I have to put them on tomorrow. Yeah, I will do. Hey, yeah. <laughs> but, I haven't uh, got any. Oh, you not brought any? No, I haven't brought any. I forgot to bring some. Some are in the UK, and you haven't brought shorts. I can't yeah. believe it. <laughs> but uh, no, it's actually really nice, which is good. Uh, but yeah, we've had a really good day today. We've got quite a lot of rides in, which has been nice. It's been really busy, hasn't it? Today? It has been busy. I just hope that they can get some investment and have some more rides. To put in. Yeah, definitely a major new ride will be fantastic here. We'd love to see a new roller coaster in this park, a new family coaster uh, will be a great addition. But I do really like the improvements that they've made again. Each year they are improving parts of the park, but really the whole park looks quite fresh now, other than that area where the Dodgems was. So I think it's time for something brand new. Come on, Looping Group, give Please, pleasure with something bring new. Some new stuff here. I thought we'd see a new ride for the 40th this year, but uh, obviously we haven't. But uh, yeah, it'd be really nice to see that uh, for next year. I think that'd be a really uh, great addition. But obviously with Looping Group making a big expansion to Drayton Manor with the new coaster. Maybe the funds aren't in place for something here. Maybe they'll wait a few years. The good thing is when you come here in the summer though, you do get the circus, which we loved, didn't oh, we? Oh, the circus was really good. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, all the cast and crew of Circus Hassani do a really good job and that makes it when you come in here to this park in the summer. Of course, we've got some great rides here. Always enjoy um, getting back on Cannonball Express, Wipeout, Jolly Roger, one of the best drop towers in the UK. The train rides, I'm glad we got those. No chairlift today, but overall, it's been a lovely day in the sunshine. We've had a great day today. I've really enjoyed it. Next vlog coming up will be from Britannia Pier and like I say we normally just tie that in with Joyland but they got a new roller coaster down there so we're going to go and check that out and so uh, you've got the ghost train there and just get some scenic views down in Great Yarmouth before doing Joyland and the Pleasure Beach as well but uh, yeah thank you to Pleasurewood Hills for having thank us. Thank you so much. Been a great day as always and that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, get out there and keep on riding. riding. See you tomorrow's vlog.